In today's video, I'll be climbing the two Munros, Mayer and Driesch, and my day started off with a long drive to the south of the Cairngorms. I chose these Munros as they were the only two with good weather in the whole of Scotland. After three hours, I made it to the Glendall car park, which was already busy. It's just worth mentioning that it's two pounds to park here for the day. The first few miles of the walk were on this well-made path. And then the views finally opened up of the stunning Corrie Fee. This place was incredible and it was hard to capture the scale of it on camera. That's me just came through the Corrie Fee and when I said these hills are busy I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I think I've been overtaken by about 10 people already. The first Monroe is Mayer which I'm actually pretty close already and I don't know if I mentioned earlier but this whole day is pretty short. I'm hoping about five to six hours. I'm just about to come up onto the waterfall at the end of the Corrie and then up onto the first Monroe of today. Once out of the quarry, there was this boggy pull up towards the first Monroe. After a bit of a slog, I made it to the top of Mare at 928 metres. There were some great views to the White Month and Loch Nagar, so this was a perfect spot for lunch. I messed about taking in the views a little bit more, and then made my way to Driesch, which didn't look too far away. As you can see here, it maybe isn't the most inspiring part of the walk, but at least you could make quick progress. To get to Driesch, you have to go out and back. So this is the junction point that forks off to the car park. So I'd be heading back this way after getting Driesch. I eventually made it to Driesch at 947 metres and this was Monroe number 99. I have to say this is a bit of a grassy lump this Monroe and it's hard to see any views off the side.
As you can see, I didn't hang about here for too long. I made my way back to the junction towards the car park. So that's it then guys, Monroe number 98 and 99, Mayor and Dries. And I think the best part of the day was actually Corrie Fee and the waterfall at the start. So I better review these out of 10, and I'll give Corrie Fee 9 out of 10. That view just comes out of nowhere just as soon as you come out of the woods, so I really enjoyed that. Mayor, I think I'll give that 6 out of 10, pretty much a round lump. Then Dries, I think that'll get maybe a 4.5 out of 10. I can't believe how warm it is. It actually feels like summer again, and there's great views down the quarry here. So it's nice easy going back down to the car park from here. So that's going to be it for this video, and I hope you'll join me for the 100th Monroe in the next one.